Okay, this is the May 2019 standard level mathematics e-assessment uh, solutions. This is, uh, I'm going to work through these one by one. We're going to look at question one first. And first question we have got, um, identify the two expressions that simplify to 3x plus 4. Drag and drop the two expressions to the allocated space below. So for this, you need to drag where you think the expression goes. And what I'll do is just write these down and show you where we think they go. Let's just get the cursor out of the way there. Okay, so let's simplify these. The first one, uh, this one, we've got 2x and we've got plus x. So this is going to be 3x. We've got 1 plus 1 plus 3 which is plus 4. Um, identify the two expressions that simplify to. Okay, so that's one. So we would drag that one over. And let's see if we can find some others. So let's do this one. I've got 3x plus x, which is 4x. I've got 3 plus 1 is 4, um, which is not correct because we want 3x plus 4. Let's have a look at this. We've got 4x plus 2. And I can just write that out. don't need to worry about the brackets. But I do need to worry about the brackets here, because if I think they've got the negative, okay, we're subtracting all of this. So I'm subtracting x, and I'm subtracting negative 2. And when I subtract a negative number, it makes it a positive number. Okay, subtracting a negative means we are actually adding. So I've got 4x, um, I don't know why I wrote plus 2x there. Let me just uh, get rid of that. So be at 4x plus 2. Take away the x and then add the 2. So 4x take away x is 3x. And then we've got 2 plus 2 is 4 which corresponds to what we want. So that would go in here also. Now, obviously, if you've got time in the exam, you would just check this one as well. So let's actually just work this out. 4x plus 2, now I'm subtracting all of the stuff in the bracket. So subtracting positive x, subtracting positive 2. So subtracting a positive is the same as subtracting. 4x take away x is 3x. 2, take away 2 is 0, so just be left with 3x. So those would be our two expressions for the first part. Moving on to question 2, or question 1b. So we've got identify three expressions that simplify to 6x minus 5, drag and drop. So again, it's the same type of thing. We're dragging and dropping these into these boxes. And they're make, making it a little bit more difficult. So let's work through each of these. And let me grab my pen. I'll do this one first. So 12x squared minus 10 over 2x. Now I'm thinking here I can take out a common factor on the top of well, what's the biggest number that goes into both 2 and 12. Sorry, into 10 and 12 is 2. So that would be 6x squared minus 5 all over 2x. And then I could simplify this further by dividing the 2s. Okay, I've got a 2 in the top, a 2 in the bottom, so it'll cancel. So I end up with 6x squared minus 5 over x, which is not the same as this. You may think, well, can I not just divide these x's? Well, I could if I did that x squared divided by x is x, but I need to still divide the 5 by x, so it's not the same as what we get here. Let's look at the second one. So we've got 2 bracket 3x plus 4 minus 13. So expand our bracket. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is it. 
And this looks more promising. 6x, 8 take away 13 is negative 5. So it looks like this is 1. Uh, let's go to number three. Um, I'm going to come back to number three. Let's go to number four. So 12x squared minus 10x all over 2x. Now I could do the same thing here. I can take out a common factor. Um, but this time I can take out a common factor of 2x because I've got x squareds and x's. So 2x, 6x minus 5. I've got 2x in the bottom. And this is nice because the 2x's cancel. So I'm left with 6x minus 5. So number 4 is definitely 1. 12x squared minus 10x divided by 2x. You could also do this one um, if I just change the color of the pen. I could think of it as divide everything by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Divide all my everything by x, so that cancels that x, and that cancels one of those, so I'd be left with 6x minus 5. Just another way you can think about it. Uh, let's have a look at number 5. So I only need one more. So another nice... Perhaps with these you would do the easiest ones first. So that's 6x plus 12 minus 7. So 6x, yeah, this looks good. Actually, no, 12 take away 7 is plus 5. And we want minus 5, so nope. And let's look at the number 6. 3x all squared divided by x minus 6x plus 10 all divided by 2. Let me just scroll down a bit so I have a little bit more room. So let's expand the top bit here. 3 squared is 9. Don't forget to square the 3. x squared over x minus. Um, I'm going to take 2 out as a common factor. Okay, now this x and this x squared, I can cancel that with one of those. So I've got 9x. Okay, x squared divided by x is x. Subtract. These 2s are going to cancel. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And I've got minus 3x plus 5. And then let's work this out. So I've got 9x. Subtract. 3x. Subtract positive 5, which means to subtract 5. So 9x take away 3x is 6x, and I've got my take away 5. So this one is good. I'm not sure I can squeeze all this in. 3x squared over x, put my bracket in the wrong place, minus 6x plus 10 over 2. And this last one, number three that I was talking about, I didn't like the look of it because we need to consider the baud mass with this. Do not make the mistake that you can just do the square root of this and the square root of this. This is not equal to the square root of 36 is 6, the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 25 is 5. Okay, well, you cannot do that. Okay, you need to do what's under the square root first and then square root it. Okay. Um, if you think, if I think of a similar example, let's say 16, actually let's see you do 25, take away 16. Okay, if I was to work out this out the proper way, I would have to do 25 take away 16, which is 9, the square root of 9 is 3. 
However, considering it like what I did here the incorrect way, if I think of it as the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 16 is 4, 5 take away 4 is 5 take away 4 is 1, which is not the same as the correct answer of 3, okay? So you have to do what's inside or underneath the square root first, and then square root it. Okay, so you can't square root each of those separately. Okay, if you have any questions on that, just let me know. Um, hopefully it should be okay, just simplifying things. Um, have a go, practice, and let me know how you get on.